Hi, I'm standing here with uh, Drew Sheffman from the Houston uh, Adobe Users Group, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what they uh, do down in Texas with Adobe. So can you tell us a little bit about your group? And uh... Sure. It's the Houston Adobe Users Group. Uh, we have uh, the whole range of Adobe products, but which includes Photoshop, and Illustrator, and Flash, and Flex. Um, since I run the group, and I'm mostly a Flash and Flex developer, mm -hmm. I target most of the conversations. Mostly. And unless some, unless some, uh, someone comes up and says, I really want a Photoshop right. uh, presentation or something, then I'll find this group with them. Okay. But uh, for the most part, it's a Flash Flex group with the name. So you, so you meet monthly in Houston? Um, monthly, it usually works out to about eight times a year. Okay. Uh, we try for every month, but it doesn't always happen, especially now with the holidays coming up. Okay. And, uh, and as far as like, what's your typical attendance and stuff like? Do you guys usually get uh, devs or designers? Which, I mean, if you're doing a flex group, it'd be probably more biased towards More devs. biased toward devs. Um, we, the group varies a lot between like three people who come or like 80 people who come, depending yeah. on the speaker or whatever. Um, the designer sessions usually get a little bit more people. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just harder to find speakers for since right. I'm in the flex dev community. Uh, but yeah, it just ranges. Uh, everyone shows up, and we try to tailor it to like beginner level uh, content. Okay, and I, I, you know, just uh, something about a kind of a technical detail of the group is is how do you manage uh, your meetings? Do you do you, I, I I saw the website, but I didn't quite catch whether it was Meetup or a custom it, site. Or it, it's well, it's Adobe's solution to managing all of its groups. Oh, okay. Uh, so Adobe provides uh, a groups groups .com site for us. Okay. So if you want to form an Adobe user group, you just go there and say, I'm whatever, I'm the group, and here's the meeting oh, times, okay. and, and they can they can push anybody who's interested to that site. And so you can search for other user groups in the area. Is that only Adobe oriented groups or it's mostly Adobe. Oh, okay. Okay. And um, you know like what what made you wanna found a group, you know? What or or did you found a group or have you taken it over for I've taken it over for okay. somebody else. Okay. Um, but I work alone. I'm a I'm a uh, independent contractor. Okay. And I mean, coming to conferences like this and reaching out to my community is the way I interact with people. Yeah. Uh, the, otherwise, you're just you're working on an island. And you don't get to uh, talk to anybody. Right. Right. Yeah. That's uh, that's what drove me to create my first user group as well. Um, great. So when you're when you're having a meeting, I mean, you, you described that you've gone from having a three person meeting to an eighty person meeting. What kept you going through? Those down times of, of having the low attendance, and then you know, because that's that's something that can really uh, it is it's very draining. It's almost defeatism. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just the you know, for the couple people who come out and they're interested, I'm excited to give them something. Right. Um, you know, that's that's kind of what it is. I, I enjoy the opportunity to meet with people. I think there's a lot of value in FaceTime. Right. Uh, I mean, in, the, in our industry, especially today, everyone's on social networks or talking over the computer. Mm -hmm. That's that's not a connection, right? That's your that's an interface, right? It's, it's it's, and I think the human connection, just meeting somebody and whatever it is that you're talking about, uh, having having FaceTime with people is just invaluable, right? And and you know, and then you know, we talked about the the, the three meeting the three person meeting, but but then you have the other end of the spectrum when you're. When you're in overflow capacity, you know, you got 80 people. I mean, that's that's got to be well, the, the other end of the spectrum. The 80 people is very predictable. Right. It's if you know Adobe is touring, and they send you know an evangelist to come oh, talk to okay. us or something. We're like, you know, hey, you know, Adobe's here. There's a big name here. And, you know, all I've of never had surprise topics like I did not know this was going to be that popular. It, you know, a surprise topic would be yeah. like 15 to 20 people. Okay. Okay. Great. And um, you know. What what advice would you give to somebody that's in Houston? Like I, I'm familiar with the Chicago area, but what is what's unique about user groups in Houston? Uh, is uh, that not? Is I don't it know. Hard to draw people. Yeah, I don't know if I can give you advice because I don't know if I'm yeah. succeeding. Because you know, I'm happy when I have three people. Um, <laughs> well, that's it's, it's you got three people. Right, yeah. I had three people, but I found that with Houston, if the meeting is not in the building that you work in, yeah, or Exactly on your route home, I'm, they're not going to come. Right. You know, if it's like five minutes out of their way, Houston, Houstonians don't don't get there for the most part. I mean, yeah. that's why we have our steady three people. <laughs> um, also, you have a lot of 
uh, uh, committed members that will come back. Right, time time. right. Um, unless it's a, an amazing topic or something that mm -hmm. someone's just dying to know, or someone just comes to the area like, I, I need a new job, or I need to hone my skills in this area. Right. But you know, but if we if we move our location, we're like, oh, we're going to have this downtown at this building. People who work in that building will show up. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, if we go to the the most convenient option for us as the managers, which has the free parking, the free entrance, the you know the wi free Wi-Fi, all that stuff, then we get our free people. If we go downtown where you have to pay for parking and sign into security you and get more attendance, you get more attendance, but it's a higher yeah, it's a higher barrier to entry that you know no, someone who's not downtown or not actually in that building won't come. And has uh, you know looking at, at some things like uh, costs, like if you were to go downtown, has does Adobe have, offer any kind of support or anything like that for helping you to? They they do at certain like membership levels. Okay. Which we're nowhere near. Um, so if we had like consistently had like over a hundred members oh, coming, okay. we would get some level of support. If we consistently had like four hundred members coming, we get another level of support. Um, they offer incentives. Okay. They, they'll give us software to raffle away and other swag, yeah. which is awesome. Um, and you know the day that we say today's the the raffle for the thousand dollar software, uh, people show up. People show up. Yeah. But we can only do but that once a year. Yeah, but we can only do that once a year. Yeah, but we can only do that once a year. So you know we try to build in incentives. Like more times you come, the more raffle tickets you can get. Oh, okay. Things like that. Okay, but so it, it it's all just a big bribe. <laughs> yeah. Well, that you know sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, anyway, Drew, it was really great talking to you here. It's the Houston Adobe Users Group. Yes. And uh, they meet semi monthly. Every month. With some breaks. Okay, but you can find out. We'll be linking to uh, their user group, uh, our Drew's user group, um, in the uh, in the post. Thank you very Absolutely. much, sir. Thank you.